Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this quick news update video this is going to be my reaction and indeed reveals for those people who've missed out on the Hasbro Pulse stream I'm going to basically summarise everything that we've just seen and let you know what's happening with regards to Hasbro and indeed their future plans for figures they're going to be making. So it was just over half an hour long, it was quite good to be fair, there was a few things that um, were really nice to see, I'm going to get to it in a minute. I've just got some screenshots from it, obviously if you want to watch it in full you can go to Hasbro Pulse. They started off uh, Hasbro Pulse YouTube that is just by showing off some chairs to be honest so I took a few screenshots um, of that now obviously the main title or sorry the main advertising thing was because of the robo set and of course there indeed is Sixo amazing guy great videos great photos so pleased to see him on there and the main purpose of it for the first few minutes was to basically promote the new robo set so the elite one I think it's called so the flagship one is the bigger one uh, which is completely sold out they said but they do have the other one that's ready and it's available to pre-order actually in the UK. So they spent quite a bit of time um, looking at these particular figures, um, obviously showing them off. Uh, just again, it went through all the same things as before, showing off um, all the commands and everything you could do and indeed how you can work it with the app. That lasted for a few minutes. Uh, but then the main thing, and this is of course what we want to see, was the actual figures. So what they did first and foremost was show us in hand, which I'll show you in a second, everything that was in the, you know, through the space bridge last time. So we've got figures that were in the space bridge last time, and then we've got some figures ready for the space bridge next time. So of course, Dark of the Moon Core Class Bumblebee is the redeco of the Laserbeak figure that we had not so long ago, but with, of course, an all new battle mask. So we got the actual proper images first, and then they obviously had them on the table there as well. Um, and to be fair, that was a cool little figure. I've obviously had the laser beak and done a review on that. So this was obviously 100% expected. This was the one that, of course, I suppose for me, because I'm G1. Uh, wow, Studio Series 86 Braun. And again, in hand, he looked fantastic. They talked about how difficult it was to actually get the colors to match on screen. They showed him next to the original Generation 1 figure, which again is brilliant. And he even showed, I suppose it's like a basic G1 homage mode, you're gonna see in a second, um, where he folded out the legs. And that's just brilliant. I love the fact that they can do that. And I love the fact that, you know, they generally think about the fans because that's that for me made it, it was just so, so clever. Unfortunately, the only thing they said is we don't know when the pre-orders for these are going to be available. So that was Braun. Then of course we had uh, which we knew was going to come, and again, they even admitted it straight away. This was, of course, going to the Studio Series Gamerverse. This is, of course, Cliff Jumper, and it's just a redeco, obviously, of Bumblebee. But there he is in hand. Again, looking good. I'm still yet to get hold of mine, and they're on pre order um, from Robot Recruits, and they'll be coming soon. Then, of course, we've already seen some images of this. This is, of course, Voyager Class. Megatron. I like the way they talked about the fact that they wanted to go with some much darker plastic because in the original release, obviously, he was a much lighter colour, whereas this is more true to the game with him being, um, again, much, much darker. Um, and again, they haven't got an exact date for when he's going to come out. Studio Series Rise of the Beast Rhinox. So this is, as you can see, this is nothing like, I suppose, the mainline figure that we've seen already. The metallic paint job on it looks amazing the hammer that comes with him looks really good um, and again I suppose in hand he looked fantastic um, yeah as I say exactly that the only unfortunate thing is that we've seen a few of these already uh, so I still like it I just I I'm just a little bit underwhelmed of course when you've seen it I love the fact that we got to see Braun completely by itself Optimus Prime obviously 100% confirmation they did say, obviously, that the guys in China got to see it before us, but here we get to see the alternate mode, and indeed, here we get to see him in hand. So all the pictures that we've seen, of course, from that convention in China are 100% um, real. They are, of course, exactly that. Studio Series, it is the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Year exclusive, so I don't know, maybe in the UK we'll be able to get them from In Demand, or maybe Hasbro Pulse, um, but as I say, unfortunately, it is going to be a Buzzworthy Bumblebee exclusive, but he did look great. Right, then we move on to some things that unfortunately the first part did get leaked yesterday. It was definitely, um, as we all suspected, going to be shown today. So what they're doing, this is their capsule base thing. So this is like last year we had the Wreckers. Um, and of course, we had some redecos and five boxes, which all built together to make a pack, a big picture with regards to the wreckers. This is this year's thing. This is their, um, as I said, what they're calling a capsule project. So it's basically IDW and mainly Transformers Origins. So the first ones, 
as I say, we've seen this. We've got Minor Megatron um, and indeed Senator Ratbat. I'm sure it's Senator Ratbat, let me make sure it is. And then they had them in hand, which was fantastic. Um, and it is a partial, quite a heavy partial, obviously, of the Siege Megatron mold. Different shoulders, different chest, different head, and a few other parts um, they did say. But he wanted to show you, you know, just again how the origin of Megatron happened and the differences there between the two molds and indeed the character which was quite interesting to hear him talk about that um, the only other thing downside for these is they're going to be Amazon exclusives pre-order from 1 p.m that's eastern time I think it's 6 p.m in the UK I know you can get them from in-demand toys in the UK as well that's where I'm going to be ordering mine from and then this was great as well we'd heard that there was this pack was going to sort of exist but we of course had seen no images so this is um, Senator Shockwave and Data Clark Orion Pax. So again, um, I'm just really blown away by this. That's a partial, obviously, on the Tetra Jet. And they had these figures in hand. They did look spectacular. And again, they were talking about the origin, talking about how they appeared in the comic. Evan even made a joke and said, if you want the Shockwave in the lime green and white, drop a comment and they'll do their best to get a redeco out. But this is where they showed the two boxes joining together. So what it definitely looks like, again, is we're going to get five packs five capsules, pretty much like what they did with the Wreckers. Um, and then of course they showed Data Clark, Orion Pax, with some similarities from the Thrilling 30, as in like the ax that he's holding, the Guido Guidi, I hope I pronounced that right, face. Um, but this thing I think looks amazing. I mean, it's borderline Ultra Magnus, isn't it, colors? Uh, but that is of course Senator Shockwave. Uh, and it's just really interesting to see how they can take an original mold and then just change it to look like that. So that's with the actual physical reveals. Then we've got some pretty obvious ones that we knew, but this is again really good to actually get confirmed from themselves rather than just seeing the leaked lists. Unfortunately, this is 90%, if not all of the leaked lists, but again, it's nice to get something confirmed. In fact, no, there's a couple on here. I can't remember. Let me know in the comments if all of these we're already aware of. Now, of course, we know that the core class figure is going to be Snarl to make Volcanicus. Then deluxe class figures. So this is all the next wave. So this is Legacy Evolution Wave 3. Bombshell had to come because we've had the first two. This is interesting. This is Strong Arm. She's from RID. I've got to admit, I have no uh, experience with this character at all. So I'll be interested to see and learn more about her. Then there was Detritus, which of course is a junkie and it's going to be a deco of, well, sorry, a reuse, I would imagine, obviously, the hound mold, same as the e-hobby figure. Uh, then again, another one I've got no actual knowledge of but this is brilliant this is another female character this is shadow striker from cyberverse these are all confirmed figures that are going to be legacy wave three we moved on to voyager and again bludgeon where we put it so the thing that's a little bit maybe disheartening or upset not upsetting that's too strong gutting maybe a word maybe that's too strong as well is we pretty much i think we've seen these obviously i think we've seen some partial test pieces of bludgeon and indeed the next one no actual pictures of it. This is going to be Trash Master. This is another Voyager class figure, and it's going to be a Junkian. And of course, we saw the test piece of a Junkian figure. So, I, and everybody said perhaps it's going to be the garbage truck. And I, I think they've pretty much nailed it. Whoever picked that up and whoever could tell that from them test pieces, I think they've nailed it. So, that's the only gutting point from that the fact that I think we guessed exactly what it was going to be. And there it is. And then, of course, this was pretty much obvious it was going to come. The leader class figure is going to be Dreadwing from the Prime Universe using, um, of course, the Skyquake mould. Uh, so quite a bit there, to be honest. And then the reason why that's there is because she's available to order from Hasbro Pulse as well from 1pm today. So overall, quite a good stream, to be honest. Uh, Robo said, I'm pleased it's actually available in the UK now. It's still quite expensive. But it's, it's available in the UK. And as I say, what I like the fact is they're showing off the figures from the last fans pull streaming through the Space Bridge in physical. And then hopefully if this is the thing that they keep doing, I think it's a format that really works. So tease us with the figures and then the very next one shows them in hand. I think it's great. I think there's loads of things to look forward to. Um, again, the Senator Shockwave uh, figure for me stands out for them packs. I like the rap bat idea, but of course the main one for me let me know in the comments, guys, what your favourite is, is, of course, Studio Series 86 Brawl. Say it all the time, and, you know, we absolutely 100% mean it. We're so lucky in this fandom at the moment. It is a great time to be a Transformers fan. Let me know what your favourites are. I've got another What's Happening Wednesday with all the other news. None of that included, because there's no point. I've done a video on this um, coming up in a few hours as well. 
Um, in the meantime, thank you very much, guys. Let me know what you're excited to see. Take care.